The World Health Organization says the symptoms include fever, difficulty breathing and possible lesions on both lungs. China. 59 are infected by a new undiscovered virus. 7 are hospitalized in critical condition and 2 people die. But what is the cause of this new outbreak? And should we be scared? <laughs> Sorry for that dramatic intro, but the news actually are dramatic. Uh, a new uh, unknown virus, a pneumonia in China. They actually discovered what the virus is like a week ago. Um, I'm going to cover everything from what the virus is, what the symptoms are, what like the cure is, um, and my worries and predictions as for what will happen with the new outbreaks. It all started December 19th, 2019. People all around uh, the city of Wuhan, which is the capital of the Hubei province of China, started reporting that they're feeling ill with uh, pneumonia-like symptoms and fever. December 31st, they traced down the viral outbreak to a seafood market in Wuhan. The seafood market was uh, quarantined and disinfected, but the people had already been infected and were spreading the virus all around Wuhan. Since then, um, 59 people have been infected with the virus, 7 of which have been hospitalized and are still in critical condition, and as of uh, the 17th of January of 2020, 2 people have died of the virus. As of January 8th, 2020, the virus wasn't the only thing spreading. Panic started spreading as well all around the globe. Officials in Taiwan, Hong Kong, the Philippines, South Korea, and Thailand reported that they were building quarantine zones to receive passengers from China in search of symptoms like fever and pneumonia. Just under 16 infections in a month from a um, pulmonary virus isn't a lot. Now, the virus doesn't spread very well between people, but the threat is that in late January is the Lunar New Year holidays, where people from all around China will be traveling throughout Asia and throughout the entire world. And a massive travel wave isn't ideal when we're under a um, epidemic threat in China, um, if you know what I mean. <laughs> now I know what you're thinking. Oh my god, a new unknown virus that is so scary. Well, I have uh, good news and bad news for you. Good news is they actually found what the virus is. It's a coronavirus, which is a type of virus we already know about. Uh, bad news is, another coronavirus we know about is SARS. Um, so yikes. SARS stands for Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome. It caused a large epidemic in 2003 and killed just over 800 people. Uh, symptoms were mostly fever, chills, muscle aches, cough, pneumonia and stuff. Uh, and transmission, actually, if two people were talking from three feet away and one of them had SARS, the other one would mostly, most likely get SARS. So, pretty bad. <laughs> now, don't worry too bad, our virus right now isn't as infectious as SARS. The problem is the Lunar New Year like event, because there will be a lot of plane travel, as I said earlier, and if you think about it, a plane is literally a lot of people jam-packed together. Say one of them has the virus, coughs, sneezes, droplets propagate everywhere, and before you know it, you got 50 more infections on your hands. So, yeah, planes, that, that's the main problem right now. <laughs> 
Now for the question my friends at school ask me, and probably a couple people ask themselves, will they reach Canada and the US? Um, and my answer to this is, maybe, but don't worry too bad about it, like, let's say this virus is the same thing as SARS, which it's not, by the way, SARS is way worse. SARS infected 400 Canadians, a little bit more, and killed right under 50. That isn't the massive amounts people are thinking of. I've seen people demonize this virus so much, like the virus we have currently. People on YouTube comments are like, yo, this is the plague sent by God to reap human flesh or some bullshit. <laughs> like, chill out, it's not the plague, it's not AIDS. Even, even your senior pestis and HIV are manageable in 2020. Actually, it's so unbalanced. People right now are like, either fearing it or saying like, oh, it's, it's chill, it's the fucking cold. No, it's neither of those, it's probably in between. But don't worry too bad, guys, you, you live in Montreal, like, come on. <laughs> this is in fucking province in eastern China, like, chill out, guys. And before people are like, yo, but what are you saying? Pandemics exist. Yes, they do. Yes, there's a chance to get the virus. But chill out, this is a coronavirus. You're allowed to worry wherever you live. But this isn't the plague sent by the gods to fucking kill homo sapiens or something. Like, guys, chill out. This is a threat. This is scary. But it's far from as worse as people say it is. Also, for the cure, um, it's like most viruses, there's no set cure, um, it's just treatment. You can treat this virus, it's not like an unstoppable force of the gods. Ch treat the symptoms, plenty of rest, you should be okay. And finally, for the conspiracy theory. I've seen people on YouTube and some of my friends say that this is a biological weapon, a ploy from the Chinese government to kill its citizens. I don't think it is, maybe it is, but just think about the following question. Why would the government weaponize a coronavirus while it could easily weaponize a bacterium, which is a hundred times easier, or something more common like an influenza strain? So yes, maybe it's a bioweapon, maybe it's not. If it is, well, they have done a pretty trash job of doing it. I mean, plus, it's literally the Chinese government who said that the virus was a coronavirus. Why would they give out information about their virus? Then it'll be like, yo, but maybe they're lying. No, they're not. It's pretty obvious it's a coronavirus based on the symptoms, based on the infection, transmission, on uh, the um, place it started. Maybe I'm wrong. I prob I'm probably not, but maybe I am. And they're lying, and this is a conspiracy, and the government wants to kill everyone. But why? Just why the fuck would they use a coronavirus? And by a coronavirus, one that weak. It's not weak, but it's like, use SARS, use anything else. Yeah, use anything else than coronavirus like that. And this concludes the video. Conclusion, um, yes, there is a virus in China, a new virus. Um, yes, new diseases are scary and stuff. And yes, it might travel everywhere. I'm not that worried, personally. And I'm probably going to record more of this myself when we have more news. So prepare for that. If I don't post anything... Pro nothing happened probably uh, I don't think anything will happen I don't want anything to happen but if something happens I'll be there to announce it <laughs> yeah okay so I'm gonna stop this here hope you enjoyed this um, news video which I never did before and uh, yeah bye guys a mysterious respiratory virus that has killed at least three people and sickened more than 200 in China can be transmitted between humans. A Chinese government-appointed expert has said, Futa Link fears about the possibility of a deadly epidemic as millions prepare to travel for the Lunar New Year holiday. Zhenan Chan, head of the team set up by China's National Health Commission to investigate the pneumonia-like virus, confirmed that at least two cases had been spread from person to personal and medical staff had also been infected. Authorities had previously said that the new strain of coronavirus, which was traced by health officials to a seafood market in the central Chinese city of Wuhan, was primarily passed from animals to humans. But at least two people have become infected in recent days. Despite living hundreds of miles from Wuhan, the current cases show there is definitely human-to-human -human transmission, Zhe told Chinese state-run CCTV.
explaining that two people in China's Guangdong province were infected by a family member who had recently returned from Wuhan, Zen, who helped discover the severe acute respiratory syndrome-related coronavirus SARS in 2003, said the infectiousness of this virus was not as strong as SARS but that the disease was climbing and suggested that the death rate at the moment is not so representative. SARS infected more than 8,000 people and killed 774 in a pandemic that ripped through Asia in 2002 and 2003. Earlier on Monday, Chinese authorities reported that the number of cases had tripled over the weekend to 218. The outbreak has spread to Beijing. Shanghai and Shenzhen, hundreds of miles from Wuhan, where the virus first surfaced last month. Thailand has also reported two cases, while Japan and South Korea reported one each, taking the global total to 222. Fears of major outbreak amid busy travel period The spread of the outbreak comes as the country gets ready for the Lunar New Year holiday later this week. On Sunday, the World Health Organization who said that there was evidence of limited human-to-human -human transmission of the new virus raising fears of a wider regional outbreak. The holiday period typically sees hundreds of millions of Chinese travel throughout the country and overseas. The three cases outside China have all been linked to Wuhan. On Monday, South Korea also confirmed its first case of the virus. According to the South Korean Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC a 35-year-old Chinese woman was detected by temperature screening upon arriving Sunday at Seoul's Incheon International Airport from Wuhan. She has been quarantined and is in a stable condition, the CDC said. The woman, a Wuhan resident, had planned to go on holiday in South Korea and Japan with five others. She said she developed a fever and muscle pains on Saturday and was prescribed cold medicine by a doctor in Wuhan, according to the CDC. Almost 7 million Chinese were estimated to have traveled overseas last year during the Lunar New Year holiday season. I believe Chinese tourists will bring the virus to many other countries in Asia in the coming days, due to their overseas travels during the Lunar New Year holidays. Professor David Wei Shu Chong, a respiratory expert at the Chinese University of Hong Kong, told CNN Monday. The pneumonia outbreak emerged last month in Wuhan, the largest city in central China and a major transportation hub. Officials in China have linked the viral infections to a Wuhan seafood and wildlife market which has been closed since January 1 to prevent further spread of the illness. Chinese scientists on January 8 identified the pathogen as a new strain of coronavirus, in the same family of the deadly severe acute respiratory syndrome SARS. While the new virus has not shown death rates like SARS, a new study by Imperial College London suggests the number of infections in Wuhan is likely to have been grossly underestimated. The detection of three cases outside China is worrying. We calculate, based on flight and population data, that there is only a 1 in 574 chance that a person infected in Wuhan would travel overseas before they sought medical care. This implies there might have been over 1,700 cases in Wuhan so far. Imperial College London's Neil Ferguson, a disease outbreak scientist, told CNN. On Friday, the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention announced three U.S. airports in New York, San Francisco and Los Angeles will start screening passengers arriving from Wuhan to check for signs of the new virus, following the similar measures taken by governments in Asia. In Wuhan, infrared thermometers have been installed at the airport, train stations, coach terminals and passenger piers to measure the temperature of passengers departing the city since January 14. Chen Zishan, Deputy Mayor of Wuhan,
was quoted as saying by state media China Daily on Sunday. The measures were only imposed five weeks after the onset of the outbreak, with countless passengers having left the city without screening. CNN's Eric Chu, Yodan Jung CEO and Angela D. Watt contributed to this report.